Hey there, and welcome to this tutorial on how to install Let's Encrypt SSL on VPS running webmin slash virtualmin. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step through the process of setting up SSL on your server. So, let's get started. Why is it necessary for you to use SSL certificates issued by Let's Encrypt? Enabling a website to use an SSL certificate is just one of the numerous ways that a website can be protected from potential threats. Your connection is protected by a protocol known as SSL, which encrypts the data that is transferred between your browser and the server. Users of the most popular web browsers, such as Chrome and Firefox, see a warning whenever they visit a website that is not secure. As a result of this, having an SSL can assist you in gaining the trust of site visitors and enhance the site's trustworthiness. SSL is not widely used on websites because of the high cost associated with it. Let's Encrypt is a totally free certificate authority that was developed by the Internet Security Research Group specifically to address this problem. More than 150 million websites are currently being served by it. Using Webmin to install Let's Encrypt SSL on a virtual private server. With Webmin, the installation of Let's Encrypt SSL is a rather straightforward and speedy process. To learn how to do it, just follow the instructions that are listed below. Step 1. Enable SSL settings. Make sure that you have already chosen Webmin as the operating system for your VPS before continuing with this tutorial. Log in to the CPANL and head to the Servers tab. The next step is to locate the section labeled Other Settings and make the adjustment to the operating system such that it is Ubuntu 18.04 with Webmin slash Virtualmin slash LAMP. Click the Save Changes button. As soon as that is finished, we will need to sign into your Webmin account in order to enable the SSL option for your website. Enter VPS IP address in the login window of Webmin to access it. The IP address, as well as your login credentials, may be located in the server's page of your panel control panel. You will see a warning message from the browser at this point. Users of Chrome should click the advanced button and then choose the option to continue to your IP address. Please enter your username and password. If you have forgotten your password, navigate to the server's page of panel and look for the root password option. From there, you may reset your password. After you have successfully logged in, choose the Virtualmin tab from the menu on the sidebar, and then click the Edit Virtual Server button. If you haven't set up a virtual server, don't hesitate to contact this technical support team for guidance. Go to the section labeled Enabled Features and select the checkbox next to the option labeled Apache SSL Website Enabled. Choose the Save Virtual Server option. Step 2. Set up Let's Encrypt SSL on your virtual private server. Once SSL has been enabled, the Let's Encrypt certificate can be installed from your webmin by following these steps. To configure your SSL certificate, navigate to the Server Configuration menu. After that, go to the tab labeled Let's Encrypt, and be patient as the Let's Encrypt section loads. Make the necessary adjustments to the following parameters according to your requirements. Make a certificate request. There are two possible responses to choose from, domains that are connected to this server as well as domains that are mentioned here. If you want to install the certificate on the default domain names of your virtual hosts, select the first option. 
Choose the second option and enter the domain names if you need to install the certificate on other domains and subdomains that are hosted on the same server. Let's Encrypt certificates have a validity period of 90 days and are automatically renewed every 3 months. As a result, the maximum value that should be assigned to this option is 3. Once you're done making changes, click Request Certificate. That wraps it up. It is expected that you will now have access to your website while using the HTTPS protocol. Make sure to consult this walkthrough in order to set up an automatic redirection of all of your website traffic to the HTTPS version of your site. Congratulations! You've successfully installed and configured Let's Encrypt SSL on your VPS running webmin slash virtualmin. Your website is now secure, and your visitor's information is protected. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notified of new videos. Also, feel free to visit our blog for more helpful tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.